Hi guys. So today is Wednesday. Today's Thursday. Um, it's my one week postpartum and I'm going to um, do a little video on everything. Hopefully it doesn't turn out to be too long. I don't know how much room I have on my phone here and um, I'm not on the computer very much these days. Um, but anyways, I just woke up and well, I was up pretty much a lot last night. Little Booger has decided that he wants to sleep all day and around the two o'clock feeding he wants to stay up and not go back to sleep. So, um, okay. Maybe this is a bad time because he's about ready to eat. But, um, I haven't been doing many videos recently. I've had a bit of a complication from my C-section. Not a very big one, but um, my first night home, I woke up in the middle of the night and um, went to the bathroom and stood up and there was a big puddle of blood all around the toilet from my incision that was leaking. Freaked out a bit. Uh, my husband like bandaged it back up and put some tape on it and um, went to the bathroom a couple hours later and now there was a big puddle of like drainage. So, um, called the doctor. They said it could be, this is, it's normal, especially with my size, and they didn't do any packing on the incision. So, the fact that this fluid's coming out is actually a good thing. So, um, I basically sat on the couch on towels and like a garbage bag because I was just leaking constantly. It was nasty. Um, and for a whole day, and by the second day, I had realized the incision had opened up a little bit more. And um, so I went to the doctor and they looked at it and they said, it looks fine, nothing to worry about. As long as it's draining, that's good. Um, I need to watch for signs of infection with a fever, um, my stomach getting rock hard and red and hot, um, things like that. And then it's, that would become an issue because then they'd have to go in and lance it and drain it and pack it. And if they have to do that, then that will be basically a month-long process of going in and getting it repacked and drained and packed and drained and packed and drained. And that way it has it's going to have to heal from the inside out rather than closing up and just healing all the way down. Um, so I went to the doctor two days ago. Um, yesterday I leaked a little bit, I drained a little bit, and today pretty much nothing so far. So um, it seems like it's healing. I just have to watch it closely. Um, besides that, recovery is okay. I'm just still really sore. And um, I'd much rather have had a vaginal birth. C-section, it, it just seems like the recovery time is, here I am a week and I'm still not back to normal. I'm not driving. Um, I'm barely going up. Oh, Jackson. I'm barely going up downstairs. I'm just trying to take it really easy. My mom comes every day, and today's the first day where she's not going to be here from, like, first thing in the morning until my husband gets home. She's going to come a little later this afternoon, so I'll be alone a few hours. Okay, excuse me while I deal with him at the same time. Um, so yesterday we decided to go to um, Target. Jackson. Um, I was dying to get out of the house. I'd been in the hospital, in the house for a week, and um, I was dying to get out. So we took Jackson on his little, on his first outing, and um, let's see if I can put that right like that. Okay. Oh, come here, buddy. Here he is. We took him on his first little outing to Target and got some binkies and some socks. Everything I find for him that I had doesn't fit in newborn. There he's just, the newborn size is like spandex on him from like day one. Do you not want this? There we go. So um, he's a big guy. He had his circumcision done on Tuesday. And um, that's healing well. His belly button is, his umbilical cord is still there. We did give him a sponge back yesterday. He's getting a little greasy. <laughs> um, oh. He's a doll. We're definitely in love. 
Um, if he'll remove his hand away from this binky to where I can hold the camera, I'll show you him. Um, my boys, my two older boys, are the best brother. They First thing they come in, they give him a kiss and say, I love you, baby Jackson, and give him a binky if need be. They're being very helpful for me, running around getting things for me. Um, that's good. My husband's been really good. He's back to work now. Um, things are falling into place. Um, I am having a stroller issue. My mother-in-law bought me my stroller off of eBay. It was um, a factory refurbished one. Um, saved us like $100. And we took it out for the first time yesterday and realized that one of the wheels was kind of clanky. Like it felt like it was, it just wasn't rolling smoothly. And then we, the brake keeps going off. Like every time we'd stop, every few times we'd stop, it would just brake by itself. The brake would turn on, which is weird. And then we couldn't get it to collapse when we got back out to the car. So I'm guessing I have to return that and get another one, which sucks because I don't have a carrier car seat. I only have the car seat that, um, is permanently installed in the car and I was going to really rely on the stroller so um, yeah so I'm I brought the stroller inside today and I'm gonna take it apart and look at it and see if it maybe it was an error on my putting it together or what and get this manual out and make sure I'm even trying to collapse it right Um, I'm in love with the stroller I don't want to return it but um, yeah what else? We're, oh, one week cloth diapering. Well, not technically one week. We didn't start cloth diapering until we got home from the hospital. On the way home from the hospital, he wore a cloth diaper. He wore a little Joey's. Um, since I have not put a disposable on him, and cloth diapering is going super well. Like, um, I have seven little Joey's and two Kiss to Love fitteds and um, some... Green Mountain Diaper Orange Edge, and that's basically, I've been doing a load lit day, um, and not because I'm out, just because I keep up with it, and it's something to do. Um, my wash routine is going pretty well. I wash them once, then I put the soap in and wash them again, and um, I haven't done an extra rinse at the end, but the loads are very small, and I'm doing them on the largest setting, so um, they have a ton of water going through them. So I'm going to keep it like this for the first couple weeks, and then I'm going to um, strip them and see how if I need an extra rinse. Um, and then I'm just sunning them out every day when I dry them, and no staining issues, no leaking issues. Um, the only problem I'm having right now is learning how to fold the pre-folds correctly to where they're not so bulky on, in between his legs. And... Um, but I'm not really having leaking problems. I'm just having a hard time getting the pre-folds on, especially when they're kicking and squirming and things like that. So, um, but cloth diapering's going great. Um, breastfeeding, I haven't breastfed since the hospital, um, but I have been exclusively pumping, and that's been going great. I hook up every three to four hours, and I pump for like a half an hour. And um, I get somewhere between, from both sides total, I get somewhere between four and nine ounces. So I'm like a milk machine, and he's only drinking exactly an ounce every two to three hours right now. So I figure with my busy schedule, I have three kids. Um, I have T-ball. I have helping out in schools. I have so much to do, and we're constantly at family's house and friends' houses and out and about. We're not very much home buddies a lot, so... I figure for the most part, like, bottle feeding is just going to be more convenient, but I really want to breastfeed, like, the breast milk, so we're just pumping, and if that requires me to wake up every three hours at night to pump to keep my supply up, I've been doing it, but it's been going good. Um, my weight loss, I was 342 at my last doctor's appointment. This morning, I woke up and weighed, and I was 320, so I've lost 22 pounds, and I started pre-pregnancy at 316, so I'm four pounds away from my pre-pregnancy weight. 
which is great. I still feel like I'm really, I still feel really swollen and in the stomach and I feel like I have um, more weight to lose. Here's my baby Jackson as he cries. Say, I'm hungry. I need my diaper changed. Huh. Yeah. Oh, don't scratch your eye out. Don't scratch your eye out. You want to open your eyes? No? See, I'm going to get fussy. Mommy, feed me. Okay. So, that's pretty much it for now. Here's my one-week postpartum update. Hopefully, things will get a little bit back. I'll be able to do more videos here in the next couple weeks, just once I can things fall back into place and what are you doing and um i'm able to get up and downstairs to get to my computer um i haven't even checked like comments or videos i'm so far behind um right now i feel like today i'm gonna go up and spend a few hours on the computer once my mom gets here to catch up on homework that's it <laughs> i know you don't want to hear him crying so i gotta go feed him we gotta go feed the baby. Huh. Say, yep, I'm doing the search. I'm doing the search. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you for all your support, and I will keep checking in as soon as I can. And um, have a great day. And I'm feeling good today, so it's great. <laughs> Bye. All right.